What's up, fish fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jay from the Holy Gill Mini Yard, and for today's vlog, guys, we will have a discussion on how to create a new guppy strain. So if you're into this, so wag mong skip yung video. Tuloy tuloy mo lang kasi medyo marami tayong magiging um, discussion about this para at least you will also be uh, aware kung paano nga ba ang pagbuo ng bagong strain ng guppy. So tara. Let's get it on. All right, fish fam. So, by the way, before we start, just a disclaimer, ano? Na hindi po tayo isang experto sa genetics. I'm also still learning and researching. Then, at the same time, watching vlogs and reading things about. How to create a guppy strain. So when I started this hobby, no, nung siguro sa first month ko ng uh, guppy keeping, guys, I also had this question: Kung paano nga ba na bubuo yung mga strains? Ano nga ba ang kaibahan ng calves at ng chops? At kung gaano katagal bago masabi na panibagong strain ang babubuo mong guppy once you cross a strain? into another so this vlog will have two parts the first part is about the, the the steps and the things i did no bago tayo makabuo ng bago strain ano nga ba ang ginawa ko ano yung classing selective uh, breeding ang ginawa second part is to showcase yung aking na buong strain or at least nagawa ko kahit papano and this stage kasi uh, I already have the third generation ng ating guppies and hopefully mag-stabilize yung mga kulay, patterns, and all ng ating binubuo strain. So tara guys, uh, I'll first show you yung aking, uh, at least yung chart or graph ng ating ginawang um, experiment. Let's go! Alright fish fam, so let me first show you yung mga guppies na nanggaling sa ating first batch and dito tayo mag-stabilize ng kanilang color, ng form at kahit na pattern sa kanilang katawan at, at yung kanilang caudal fin How did I do this? Ganto kasi yun! Alright fish fam, so before we start doing the crosses ng mga strains guys first thing you need to know is to plan ahead what form, color, or patterns ang meron ka sa iyong isda these colorations, the pattern, even yung uh, shape ng kanilang caudal fins, guys, dapat nasa utak mo na yan. So, yun. Think ahead of time. Second thing that you need to know before the cross is, of course, you need to research a lot about guppy keeping. You should need to know the basic on how to keep them the food, the water parameters, and all before ka magkaroon ng um, maganda at healthy na guppies, guys. Sa inyong hobby. Third thing that you need to have is napakaportante nito. You need to invest on tanks. So yes, guys, it will take a lot of tanks for you to have because sa akin, guys, ito yung aking tanks, sa aking mini yard. Ayan, uh, that includes my beta tanks sa taas. Pero yung lahat ng yan, first to third row, yan mga gapi yan, breeder ko yan, and then this part ng aming mini yard. Dito ko po nilalagay yung mga fries, pati mga juvies natin. Same goes with the project that I have. So, hanggang doon sa dulo. Alright, and down to the last thing that you need to know is again guys, kailangan mo ng maraming pasensya. Because it will take around 3 to 4 or even more generations bago ka maka-stabilize ng kulay, ng form, ng tail shape, even yung mga body and tail patterns, guys. Alright, guys. On our chart for breeding, I chose a male EBM. That's sa kanilang kulit pag nailawan. And I paired that sa isang female albino because gusto ko yung pattern na buntot ng male niyan, guys. So, yung katawan, pati buntot ang may pattern. And I wanna keep that part. So, ito yung ginawa nating uh, mga test subject ng ating breeding guys and then ito yung mga nag-anak nila so these are the two colored males sa isang batch na yon 
and uh, if you see sa kanilang background andun din yung female sa isang batch na yan guys alright so far okay naman sa akin yung uh, shape ng kanilang tail but I want to retain yung pattern ng uh, isang male dyan para mas slick yung itsura nya diba so ayan so since gusto kong i-solidify yung pattern na yun uh, I do the uh, back cross ng mail na yan sa first batch sa nanay nila and then ang kinilabasan na ito so ito naman yung uh, mails na kinuha ko sa second batch na yon ito yung uh, merong na retain yung uh, pattern sa kanilang buntot pero this time medyo may ibang kulay na rin dun sa isang mail na yan samantalang ito nawala yung pattern sa kanyang katawan and then the third male guys ayan may pattern sa kanyang atong na retain siya and hanggang ngayon ay nagiging okay yung kanyang itsura kasi I still have them sa aking uh, collection so ayan so far guys naging okay naman ang ating uh, test subject so since okay yung kinalabasan ng ating testing ginawa ko ipinair ko yung mga kapatid na yan na iisa ang pattern sa kanilang buntot and I'm looking forward na magiging stabilized or stable yung pattern ng uh, katawan na yan pati kanilang buntot guys and then ito ngayon ang kanilang anak this batch since parehong di albano yung magulang walang albano sa part na yan and ito yung nagiging diet nila ayan max flow ma uh, watch pong and then also the decapsulated BBS na high in protein guys so ayan so far Alright, fish fam. So, ayun nga, no? So, I, I just hope that this vlog today will help you on creating your own strain ng guppy, guys. Again, just keep the passion. Tapos, have more patience, guys, pate. And then, ayun uh, nga, find the best female na meron ka at least, di ba? Meron ka ng, kumbaga, vision kung ano magiging itsura ng guppy mo once mabuo mo na yan. After siguro 3 to 4 uh, generations, no? So, if ever meron kang mga nabuo ng guppy, no? Uh, bagong strain na guppy. And you want to share this as a group then so kindly comment down below. And then, if ever you have also your own questions or feedback about this vlog, uh, you can also uh, send your comment, no? Just put it there wala, wala naman sa atin yun uh, I mean I will appreciate that guys uh, to totoo lang and then ayun so again maraming maraming salamat sa pagsuporta uh, sa ating channel no and uh, looking forward for more vlogs like this and if ever meron ka mga gustong ipagawa <laughs> if ever meron ka mga siguro uh, gustong adventure out na medyo uh, di ka pa gano ka sure you can also Siguro comment mo or I can also just uh, put yung link natin ng page sa Facebook guys para if ever may tanong ka or you want to uh, inquire something about our vlogs I also siguro you can um, PM me there para at least ma, ma reply kita agad. So ayun. So before we end this uh, vlog no gusto ko din sana ng take this time to thank yung mga uh, kapatid natin sa pag-isda diyan sa ating mga supporters. So again thank you so much po sa inyong mga oras and sa ating mga subscribers din so uh, gusto ko nating mag shoutout po sa ating mga uh, kasama dyan so uh, shoutout po kay uh, Trevor Aquatic uh, TV ayan. so uh, shoutout sa inyo uh, pati rin kay City Guppy so ayan shoutout po uh, pati na rin kay uh, Nikoy S289 ayan. so shoutout sa inyo kapatid uh, pati kay ayan kay uh, Abishek Raut or Rot so this guy actually asked for an English um, vlog so I, I'll look forward then siguro oh, so I look forward to have um, like all English um, vlog in the future so don't worry I'll try to learn a lot of it thank you for your support and then kaya na rin kay uh, Ken Francine Iran shout out sa'yo and then kay uh, Jennifer Rodilia. So ayan, so again maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And if you like this video, so you can also hit the like uh, and you can share this or you can also ask so you can comment down below and then sa mga ating kapatid dyan, you can also subscribe to this channel and hit our notification bell para updated kayo sa ating mga susunod pa mga videos. 
So ayun, hanggang dito na lamang mga kapatid. So thank you so much for your time and for watching. This has been Jay from the Holy Gilman Yard. Fish, out! <laughs>